guys welcome back to another video this is code forces round 894 d3 and we're gonna solve the fourth problem that is ice cream balls so let's say what the problem stage so we have a person and uh, his name is tema okay tema is like uh, like she loves to he loves to cook and they are telling that there are uh, some x different types of ice creams these are called ice cream balls or flavors like that and in order to make a new type of ice cream she can take uh, two boxes and mix these together so she can mix ice cream of flavor one ice cream of flavor one of the same flavor or she can mix of different flavor okay in this case you need to notice that one two and two one are same okay these are same set so i just can't say two one is following a different type of ice cream one two and two one are the same and they follow only one set of ice cream and the same number also follows one set of ice cream what are they asking is uh, so like if you see about the minimum number of balls he needs to have in order to make exactly n different types of ice creams so what does it mean is one two three four are the number of balls these are all the number of types so they will give you the type so to get exactly uh, n types how many minimum number of balls are required so for that let's uh, try to understand this with the help of an example input they will give you the exact number of types okay and in output what we should do is minimum number of balls so for example let's take uh, the input is six types they want they are giving you exactly to produce six types of ice cream how many balls are needed so let's take for example uh, one two three four we need four balls so four balls how many different combinations can come if you want to combine two how many different combinations can come one two can come one three can come one four can come two three can come two four can come and three four can come did i miss anything no so there are one two three four five six we got six types for four different balls so in output i output like there are four balls minimum four balls are required to perform uh, exactly six types of ice cream when i told four different balls and two places are there we have to find the number of combinations so what does it mean it is 4c2 what is 4c2 n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so 4 into 3 sorry 4 into 3 divided by 2 2 2 getting cancelled and 4 c2 is what 6 this 6 is the total number of elements here and this 6 is the 6 number of types so when did we get 6 number of types when we performed when we got the value 4 here when we gave the value n as 4 we got 6 as the type so you are, we understood right we took some number we took all the combinations that are possible for making a new type of ice cream and uh, since we understood that we are getting the exact same type of ice cream we assumed that four will be the balls so this may or may not work but let's try to find out let's try to find another example let's say uh, what if there are 10 types i need to find what is the minimum number of elements so we know 4c2 is 6 let's take some other number like 5 1 2 3 4 5 what is 5 5 c2 is 5 into 4 divided by 2 20 by 2 is what 10 great so for 4 c2 it is 6 and for 5 c2 it is 10 so for producing 6 types you need 4 balls and for producing 10 types you need 5 balls now let's make it a bit more interesting so these are exact matches right exact matches now what if uh, i have like uh, 9 types as the input Nine types is somewhere between six and ten, right? So I can say that okay, uh, since uh, till four I can get only six. I can just say that I can just take five balls and uh, I'll get ten, no problem. I'll include it. I'll just say that five balls are necessary here. But if you notice one thing, in question they exactly told minimum number of balls to get exactly n different types of ice cream. See, for exact five balls you get ten. For exact 5 balls, you won't get 9 types. So this is false. So 4 is also not there, 5 is also not there. 4C2 is not working, 5C2 is not working. What else can be there? For that, we'll see the question. In question, they told, okay, two different numbers only we tried. What if it can be a same number also? 
So if it is the same number, we'll just try with the same number. For 4C2, it is fixed, right? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. For 4 numbers, for 4 different flavors, you have 6 different combinations. Now, I wrote like 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Then uh, 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 4. These are 6 combinations. Now, I can add one more element here, right? If I add one more element, this one can match with one. So this goes with the seventh combination, that is one, one. Two, one can't come because two, one is already in the set as one, two, so we are not taking it. Then still nine types are not done. We'll take eighth combination is add some other number. Three also add any other number. We are not concerned about this. We are just concerned about the combination two. Okay, two, two also can come now. Let's take one more, the last type, ninth type, we got exactly that number, that is 3, 3. Now, to perform nine types, we need how many balls? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need seven balls. So, we need uh, seven balls here to perform nine types. So, if you notice one thing, it does not mean that uh, the maximum number of balls that are there, the minimum number of balls. So, for 4C2, it is four balls, 5C2, it is five balls, but for nine types, for six types it is four balls for ten types it is five balls for nine types even though if it, it is between six and ten the number of balls are getting increased also so seven balls can come so what did we do here is we just got uh, 4c2 plus some number plus some number is giving you nine but uh, how do i know it we don't know this right we just have to do trial and error only so here you have to notice one interesting example let's say uh, it is 10 it, let's take this is the 10th combination i can add one more number right here i can add 4 it will be 4 4 see for 10 combinations you are getting 8 uh, so so for 10 combinations you are getting 8 balls for 10 combinations you are getting 8 balls but the best possible answer is only 5 balls see for 10 combinations we are getting 8 balls also, we are getting 5 balls also. They are asking minimum number, minimum is 5. That is, if the same set is repeating again, you just have to replace the entire one with 5. That means, uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, you can just make it as 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4. Because the same is repeating. So, the same, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, you just make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the number of balls will be minimum. Uh, again, if uh, you take the higher limit, it will be 10 types. If you want to make 9 types to be the exact 9 types, you need to put 1, 2, 3, the exact number. But how do we know it? So, what you do, 2C2, 3C2, 4C2, you find the closest value for where the types match, okay? And then you are just doing it. But the number can go till 10 power 18 and linear search won't work. So, for that, we bring the next advanced searching technique that is called as binary search. So how to code this in binary search? Let's theoretically understand that first. Then we will go back uh, to solve the problem. So we'll uh, decide the limits later. So let's assume that uh, it will be like a low and it is high and it is mid. So to understand this, what is low, what is high and what is mid? These are all the different n values. We gave four, uh, suppose let's say nine. Let's take an example and try to figure out only. Nine types, we got how much? Seven is the n value, seven balls. Okay, this seven balls is coming from how? 4C2 plus some number, that is three here. How did we get three? Because it is coming from, uh, I'll, we'll just derive it, right? So. This is 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is 1 only. So, this is 6 plus 1. Now, what should be the low value? Lower value is this number. This is the number that we are trying to find out. Okay. So, this one can be 1 here. And high. High can be how much? They told the types, right? Number of types can be approximately 10 per 18 in the question. So, in order to make the high, how much should we do? That is n into n minus 1 by 2 is the answer. So we should do 2 into 10 power 9. That is, uh, if n into n minus 1 by 2 comes to make it as 10 power 18, so n value will be approximately 2 into 10 power 9. So I write like 2 into 10 power 9. Mid is the exact value, the closest value, closest n how much should I find? That is called as mid. Now, uh, how should I perform the values, right? Mid is nothing but low plus high by 2. Okay. Now, what is mid CR? 
This is mid CR will be some value. If the mid CR is less than or equal to the type, the question they will give you know, that type. If the mid CR is very much on the left side, if the mid CR is so less but the type is so high, what should I do? I should the low value should be incremented. The low values mid should be more. Suppose it may say that it might be only 2C2, but the target is very much 2C2, 9 is there. So what do I do? The low value I'll give as 2. Else, if the mid value is so high, if the mid value is so high, I'm getting like 100C2 and all, but the target is 9, I need to reduce the number, right? So for that, I do high value as mid. That's all. Now, running this search, what do we understand? We will get one number. We will track the low only. Low is the closest value. In this case, we are getting the number 4 because at some moment, we will get 4C2 less than or equal to 9. Right? So, we track this 4. Low is what? Low is 4 now. So, 4C2 we got and 9 types are there. 4C2 is 6. So we got 6. Fine. Now, uh, how do we know how much extra elements are needed here? So for that, balance will be total number of types. I can produce 6 types with my low value. So total types will be 9 types. This 9. 9 types minus uh, this one. That is low CR. Low CR. This is 6 types. So it will be 9 minus 6. I, ha I need to add at least three more elements. That's it. Now, what did they add in the question? These are individual elements. So for low, I have four. So what do I print? In print will be four. Imagine one thing, four C2. This four C2's closest value is four. Four different balls plus uh, total number of types. I'm just directly art coding it. So nine minus six, there are, I need three more types. For that, I take these three more types are exactly the three more balls. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 means this one is also a type. 1, 1 is a type, 2, 2 is a type, 3, 3 is a type and 1 is also a ball. So this is a ball, right? This is a ball. So this 4, C2 is 4, 4 balls plus 3 balls. We get 7. So that's all. But to understand it again, don't worry. I'll try to explain it with the help of a code now. Now, uh, what did they give? In question, they give you the type as 9 and high value is 2 into 10 power 9. As I explained earlier, uh, high value exists because uh, n can be 10 power uh, 18. So high is there, low is there. Now, what is mid value? Mid value will be some NCR. Okay, this is NCR. So mid value, we are just trying to track all the n's. Okay low, mid, high, everything will be this n value. Why do I keep low plus high minus low by 2? Even if you, this is same as low plus high divided by 2. In order to avoid integer overflow or something, we just do this formula. If you separate it, it will be the same. Now I perform mid CR. Why do we perform mid CR? Mid CR gives you the number of types. If the number of types is less than or equal to 9, I am incrementing the low side. If the number of types are greater than that, I am decrementing it. Now, what do I get in low? Low, I get the most closest n value here. NCR is less than or equal to 9, right? I am getting the most closest value. In this case, we get 4. Now, I need to perform. I got 4 here. But what is mid CR? What is low CR here? Low CR is 4C2. I am just tracking it because I got the closest number of balls. I need at least 4 balls to make 6 types. I got that is low CR and what is the balance balance will be nine types nine types are in the input minus six types that is this much only I can produce with the standard format I get three types from this we understood that one one two two three three the number of types and number of balls are same so I can say that these are number of balls also so already I have four balls here so four balls plus three balls will give you seven balls as the answer. So you can also find uh, the accepted solution here. I'll link it in the description. So uh, just thing is just go through this like couple of times, try with linear search first. And then once you understood, make it with binary search. 
and uh, please rewatch the video because it will be much more useful if you are able to try it out again please try it out with your hand and that's all guys if you have any doubts or any concerns feedbacks anything please drop it in the comment section and let me know how did, did uh, this video help thank you